You're watching The Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, no more dentures, according to my first guest. In studio, we have uh, an expert on the topic of replacing missing teeth with dental implants, Dr. Art Mulzan. Dr. Mulzan, welcome to the program. Thank you, Randy. Happy to be here. Happy to be back. Yes, we had you in the program before. Um, now, for people that don't know your practice and what you do, tell us a little bit about your practice. Who's your typical patient? Uh, what are the different procedures you do? Okay, well, first off, let's, let's say that we're a general practice, a practice that does everything. Our focus, though, is, is helping people rebuild their mouth, whether they come in with, with no teeth, removable dentures, or whether their teeth have collapsed, fallen apart, and they need fixed. Many okay. times it involves using dental implants. Many times it involves saving teeth. Now, we've had you on the program before. Yes, sir. You said it was a big response. I mean, there's a lot of denture wares, I guess. Yes, there are. Well, there's a lot of denture wares who want something better. There's a lot of folks that have given up on their teeth. They've had the root canals. They've had the fillings. They've had the crowns. They keep breaking. They keep falling out. They keep creating problems, missing teeth here, there, and in between. They want an answer. Okay. And that's what we're about. Now, you make a bold statement. You say, and I'll quote you, that people can walk in your office without teeth and walk out the same day with a fixed set of teeth. Yes. Elaborate on that. Yes. Is that right? That's some, of the, that's some of the latest technology that is available in dentistry today. It's technology that is there for the, for the using for those clinicians that have picked up and studied on these, on these new technology traits. Using the CT scanner, it allows us to look at the bone, give us a concept of what exactly we have to work with so that we can accelerate the program and just get things done so much faster. It seems very painful. No, not and at all. And what do your patients say? Well, most patients say it's comparable to having a tooth out. If we're doing a single implant, it's comparable to having a tooth out. And most of those patients have had that process happen to them at some point in time. Now, if you're doing more extensive work, it's a little bit more. But with the teeth in a day, all on four technology, that has decreased dramatically because we're doing no grafting. We're, we're cutting out a lot of the extraneous and the things that take us a really long time to accomplish and our our dental work is getting accomplished in a shorter period of time utilizing sedation where the patient's comfortable and we have complete control over the situation so that when they're done it doesn't hurt now uh, and people need to know this is a real interview I'm trying not to side with you even though I think what you're doing is, is uh, you know really good I've, I've looked at your website and we've interv I've interviewed you before but the way it's normally done when you want to get dental implants. You go to one person that's the surgeon, is that right? Yes. You go to the other person that puts the tooth on top, and yes. you may even go somewhere else to get the, the imaging. Mm -hmm. You right. do it all right there. That's one of the true advantages of our facilities, is that between Dr. Holton and myself, we have the scanner right, on, right in the office. We have the laboratory. What kind of scanner? The, a, a CT scanner. Okay. 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 And we've got the latest, greatest, most low energy radiation scanner available. Now you are passionate about this. I mean, you've yes. written a book, we should yes. mention. Yes, you've written a book. Very uh, proud of that book. And, and, and I'm paraphrasing you, but you don't think really anybody should be wearing traditional dentures. Is that right? Not like a, no more dentures. I don't think they should. I think there are options out there and they're very reasonable options. Things that, that um, unless there's major, major health concerns where they shouldn't be doing anything, they're candidates for these, for these services. And you say you're changing people's lives every day. Every day. Now you brought photos, let's, let's go to I the have. photos. Let me give you a couple photos here. This patient is Sandy, great gal. Her teeth were loosening, having all sorts of problems with that. She was missing a bunch of her back teeth, had broken teeth in the back, didn't really know what to do, had searched out this new technology, teeth in a day, all on four, was in the process of going out for consultation outside the state or outside the country to have this procedure done in some other facility. She didn't know it was available in our community. Okay. okay? We had the opportunity to sit down. We took a CT. We had a conversation. She realized that it could be done here and could be done very well. Are they skeptical? by the way oh yeah they come in because I mean they have bad gums yeah, that's they, the part I don't get why is it that they're they're afraid I mean okay. that's the biggest that's the big the, usually the reason they put this off is because they are afraid the fear factor plays a major role until it gets so bad that they don't know what to do and then they give up and they and they want they have to find a solution and so she found us we were able to have a conversation, decide what kind of teeth she wanted, and literally the next, the next during that week, we went in, removed her teeth, placed our implants, and gave her a brand new set of teeth, top and bottom, in one day. Wow, she looks pretty, pretty happy there. She is happy. 
That's a big step so up So those for are her. fixed? I mean, they don't come out They're of her fixed. mouth? They don't come out. It's not like a denture that, that has the big pallet on the inside that you have to slide in and take out and put in the glass at nighttime. Those stay in the entire time. And they went in that day. First, one day, one day. So she goes home with teeth? She goes home with teeth that day. How soon can they eat? Oh, they can eat right away, but we encourage them to, to go slowly at first because their gums are sore underneath things. Mm -hmm. So there's a couple of weeks where we ask them to use a, a very limited diet. That, that just makes sense. But uh, so once they heal, like in a perfect world, let's say, you know, a couple, two, three weeks later, could they eat anything? Well, in a perfect world, as soon as the implants have locked in and are holding the teeth securely in the bone, then their diet is anything they want. I mean, maybe even better than regular teeth? Oh boy, I'd like to. I mean, I'd could like, you eat corn well, on the cob? Because I hear stories, or bite into an apple, or eat broccoli. Well, you can absolutely do those things. And, and you don't when have you, to be cautious. When you say better than teeth, in her case, it probably is better than teeth because the teeth that she had weren't working. Okay. So okay. this is better than teeth. I mean, it's <laughs> much better than teeth for her. For her, it's a, a giant jump forward as far as taking care of them and having a healthy mouth again. And these people are IV sedated. I mean, they yes. go in and, and you say they wake up, they don't even know what happened. Correct. They say, is it done? Yes. Sometimes, really? Well, the, the, the sedation we use, we use a certified nurse anesthetist during our process. So we have one person in charge of making sure they're comfortable the entire visit. That's their job. I've been working with Joe now for 30 years doing this. Okay. So we've got a rapport that has lasted 30 years. I'm a little old for that, but I mean, I, but yeah, they're comfortable. I'm doing the work with the patient. He's making sure that they're comfortable. The vast majority of our patients don't even remember having the procedure done. Really? Yes. Okay, and I've got another patient, Jack. Okay. Let me show you a couple pictures of, of Jack. Now, Jack, you'll notice his teeth are not different because he liked his teeth. He's 83 years old. He's had dentures for 35 years. He wanted to get back to being able to chew like he could when he was a kid. So he said, I don't want my teeth to look different. I just want them to work. So at 83, he wanted the technology that would take him there quickly. There's, he, so 33 years in dentures. Yes. Okay. 33 years in dentures. All right. And he still had a foundation that we could work with. And we decided, talked about the teeth, made sure we could give him the exact same set of teeth that he had. And in one afternoon, we were able to place our implants and put teeth on top. And he was in a denture. This is one of the few patients that was in a denture because many of our patients are still have some of their teeth. Mm -hmm. Not a lot mm -hmm. of them, but we'll have some of them. He was completely without teeth. And now he's got teeth that he can smile in and he's going to be able to chew with anything he wants. Like, he, like he was teeth. when he was a kid. Now, but, but isn't it true that if you've been in dentures 30 years, you don't have enough bone to do this? Well, that's not true. Some people do. And okay. with the technology we have, he had plenty of bone to work with. And we were able to do it that, that exact same day. And he was referred by a dentist in town, my, Dr. Mike, to me to do the to do the implant phase of things and it just it just worked out great so for denture wearers that are watching this what are their options so when they go in and they're a candidate what do you tell them as far as options okay if someone comes in without any teeth okay first option is to have a new denture made as best as can be made okay that probably will be somewhere between 30 to 50 percent of normal chewing ability will probably float around unless they glue it down and the gluing down business in, in the world now, I think the gluing down business is about a billion dollars for denture adhesives. So a lot of people are trying to glue down their teeth. It's a kind of crummy way to go through life. Now the other option is to utilize dental implants. These are just fixation screws that lock into the jaw bone. So what's the beginner part? The beginner one is like two implants. Two implants. Where you, you place put, like, two right implants here? right in the lower front and you have the teeth snap on top after they've healed. Okay. Now, that holds your teeth in place, so it minimizes the amount of glue or goop that you need to keep. The teeth do tend to lift and move a little bit. That's the limitation of the thing, as you would see with the mini implants. Mini implants are the same type of thing. You'll see some movement of the, of the teeth because the teeth are not held securely in place. Your next option going from there is to go to four implants. Now, if you go to four implants, you can link them with a bar and you can make teeth that will snap on top of that bar. That gives them additional stability and okay. improves their chewing ability dramatically, dramatically. But they still have removable teeth. And so if you're gonna use four implants, why not consider getting teeth that don't come out? They're easy to take care of. They stay in all You call time. it all on four. So that's four implants, a full yeah. arch of teeth, and they don't come in and out. They don't come in and out. I mean, that's what people want, right? That, I think that's what people, that's what I, I think that's what you would want. You want <laughs> yeah. something that stays in that you can clean, that you don't have to put in a, a jar at night or, you know, that just makes sense. Now, now we're rushed for time, but if it's so good, 
and there's tens, we, we've talked on the phone, tens of thousands of people where you are with an upper lower denture, why aren't they all doing it? What's your take? Well, they don't know. And that's part of one of the reasons we've wrote the written book. the book. That's part of the reason. Because they don't go to the dentist anymore? Well, they, they just don't know what their options are. Okay. And, when they, and then when they read about things, they get confused. Another reason we wrote the book was so that people would understand that it is a simple, straightforward solution. And it's not the, the highly technical stuff, because many times I'll talk to a dentist, and dentists usually, we're too technical. We, okay. we think in times of parts and pieces, and, and we don't explain things very well. And so <laughs> that's why we went and, and put a book together, okay. was to help share that information with people so it would be easy to understand and help them down the decision tree so that they could do something to help themselves. Now, I think of it as just teeth, but you say it's absolutely life-transforming. In, in almost in many, many cases. It's a lot more fun doing this stuff than it is doing uh, fillings and things like that. This is, let me show you one more picture. You got, do you have okay, time? Okay. okay. This, this, in my opinion, is life transforming. Okay. Okay, this is, this is Rhonda. Her teeth were, were spreading out because the foundation was loosening. She was very concerned about that. And the foundation had loosened up around her teeth. So we went through the process of, of discussing things and, and finding different, different um, options. And so we decided to proceed with the all in four solution. So, we so went, those teeth had to be taken out, no those, matter what. Those teeth had to go. So it was either dentures or a fixed set of teeth with you. Correct. And okay. so what we did was we, we, made the, we made the teeth, had the teeth ready to go. And in one afternoon, we were able to remove the teeth, place the implants, and fix the teeth on top. And when we're discussing life-changing experiences, the story for her comes down. Wow. And she was very busy. She, she's a hardworking woman, has very little time, and that's why she liked this option where we could do everything basically in one visit. But the magic of life-changing is a week later when we have her in for a post-operative visit, she's walking down the hallway, and I'm, I'm not paying attention, doing what I normally do, mm -hmm. and I glance and I see this attractive woman dressed to the nines with heels, makeup and hair. And I'm going, who's that? <laughs> I, I ask, I go, Vicki, who's that? And she goes, that's Rhonda. I go, no way. Really? No way. That, that's a change. Because of her self-esteem. Self-esteem, the whole thing, totally different looking woman. Just sharp, well, it's a sharp beautiful as smile, can be. by the way, beautiful but, smile. But, but again, and we talked about this last time, look at the eyes. The eyes tell the yeah. story on this. Yeah. This, is, this is a situation where before there's one look and afterwards you can just see yeah. a different person the eyes the eyes tell the story yeah we are out of time but you know one of the things that you said people like give you hugs and they send you things and a woman at a car wash wrote something on a piece of cardboard you made me read it yes and uh it, it's it can choke you up it does she said for 33 years first time she wakes up she has teeth in her mouth teeth in her mouth it was great. So paraphrase this. I mean, what? what? Well, pictures. Can we do a quick yeah, picture? Yeah, do you have enough yeah. time? Got about a minute. There's left. joy before and there's joy after. Oh, my goodness. And again, you look at the eyes. You just look at the entire facial complex. It's, and she's a happy, wonderful, beautiful woman. Just the teeth weren't there. She said nobody could help her. Nobody could help her. Why? Well, she just, every dentist that she went to, and, and on our little cardboard list, she said, they all said, I can't help you and came into our practice. She loved our staff. The comments about the staff are just, are just you know, She says she wants to figure out a way to repay you. <laughs> well, she's and done And that's it. why I asked you. I said, did you do it for free? No. And you didn't. I mean, well, her, but, but her she mom feels... had passed, and that's what allowed her to, to have the service done. She, she'd struggled up through now. Now she had a chance to get her teeth. And the big thing she said is, was after the procedure, the sedation and everything, when she, when she arose out of the procedure, she had teeth. She said it was the best thing in the world. And when she wakes up in the morning, she has teeth. They're not in a jar. I mean, they're not in a glass. She has teeth. So no more dentures. No more dentures. In one day. One day. Transform their life, you Transform say. their life. And it did for these gals. Okay, I want to thank you for coming on the show. All right, Excellent Randy. job. Always a pleasure. Love it. Like your enthusiasm. You've been watching the Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. We'll be right back. You're watching the Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic no more dentures. In fact, according to my first guest, you could walk into his office on any given day, walk in without teeth, 
and you walk out with a fixed set of teeth in your mouth, a full arch of teeth. Uh, with us, we have uh, an expert on this topic, Dr. Matthew Holton. Thanks Dr. for having Holton. me, Randy. Happy now, to be here. That's not an exaggeration. Is that it's correct? Not. It happens every day. Is that it happens right? every day. Every day you're doing these procedures? Yep. You know, Dr. Molzin and I have, uh, have developed a technique uh, based on, you know, some of the, uh, the really progressive things happening in the implant industry. And, um, you know, the same day teeth treatment concept uh, is, is well vetted. It, it works. Okay, good. And uh, for people that don't know your practice, uh -huh. uh, and we've had you on the program before, yep. um, you focus your efforts on sedation dentistry and dental implants for yes. denture wearers or for anybody missing teeth. Yep. Tell me about that. I mean, who's the typical patient? Like, well, what's your day like? Well, we really call it restorative dentistry because we're restoring people's smiles and we're restoring, um, you know, uh, people's mouths back to, to where they used to be. So uh, we don't have a typical patient. We have okay. lots of people that come that are missing one tooth. And what we're able to do is, is in one visit, remove a bad tooth and, and put a new, uh, obviously, artificial tooth root in and sometimes give them a fake tooth. Uh, there are other folks that have had bigger problems. They've, uh, they've gone longer without dental care and we have to remove um, all their teeth. Okay. Uh, or if they're a dentalist, we're able to, to replace all their teeth in one day. So our goal is- I mean, this book, I mean, you even have a book it says yep. teeth in one day with dental implants. And the book details a little bit about our process, but it, is his, it gives his, uh, patients that have here. never heard about this uh, a way to find out what this stuff is about. And um, you know, there's so much out there in the media and in, in false advertising about what can work for patients. Uh, we kind of wanted to, to publish the book to set the record straight. Okay. And, uh, and talk about what we can do. Are there a lot of people, and I know you brought photos, we'll get to those photos, uh, but are there photos. a lot of people where you live within an hour of the practice like, what are some numbers? I mean, how many people have an upper or lower denture? Estimate. I, I, and again, it's hard to say. Like thousands? I, I'm basing this on, you know, my experiences, but we know that there's over 60 million people in America that are losing, um, that have lost all their teeth uh, in their whole mouth. Okay? okay. So it's a huge population of people. Based on where we work, um, there's a higher percentage of those people because it's a, a more mature community. So every day I see new patients that uh, either have full dentures, have dentures on uh, one, or, one or other jaws, and um, they're looking for solutions. Their dentist has told them, I don't think you're an implant candidate. I don't think you can have what those people say they can do. And uh, in our really? office, in, our office in, in one visit, in a, in a no fee consultation, I can do an advanced um, CT scan. I can look at it with the patient right in front of them and say, hey, you've got what we need. You've got the good foundation. Yeah, but what if you're in dental, I mean, what if you're in dentures for like 30 years? Yeah. Isn't it true you don't have enough bone to do this? That's, that's a total misconception. And even if they've been told that before, it's probably wrong. Uh, very, very rarely is anyone not an implant candidate. Sometimes you have to do the work. Have you ever had to turn any, anyone away? We really have Because haven't. they didn't have enough bone? Randy, there's always a solution for people. And what I think someone needs might not be what direction they want to go, but whether it is a denture, whether it's a couple implants to support a snap in, snap out denture, or whether it's more to support teeth that stay in their mouth, there's always a direction where you can take people that can help them. And, and that's the goal. So no more dentures, no more traditional dentures. No more dentures. The, the goal is always that in the, uh, in the main visit, the visit where we sedate the patient and do most of the work, that uh, we're able to um, provide them with teeth that stay in their mouth, that they can smile and function with uh, that day. So the day of the surgical procedure, mm -hmm. you put on this full arch of teeth yep. that don't come in and out, and then uh -huh. they leave the same day. Absolutely. Because other places, and I have to be careful, pe people need to know I'm not endorsing you. Right. But how it's normally done is they put the implants in, they let them sit in the mouth for four yep. to six months. Mm -hmm. Then they come back and put the teeth on. And sometimes it How takes are you longer. able to do it this way? Yep. So this is a progressive technology. It's not something that everyone is out there learning in dental school. Uh, we've spent a lot of time kind of traversing the country, figuring this stuff out. There's uh, you know, a more advanced implant that we use to do it. You have to have a I mean, a you really teach other dentists yep. this procedure, this same day procedure. Dr. Is that right? Dr. Molzen and I have helped a lot of people learn this particular protocol. but. Um, the, the research is there. Uh, they've been doing it in Europe for almost 30 years. Okay. And, uh, the goal is always to get people teeth to stay in their mouth day one. Nobody wants to wear a denture. If they have a denture, um, they don't want to wear it anymore. They, they know how bad it can be. So uh, we're able to uncover their palate and give them teeth, again, that they can chew with that day. So I understand this correctly because I, you know, I, I talked to Dr. Molzen. Uh -huh. So this all on four procedure, you call it. That's four implants, get a full arch of teeth that don't come in and out. Correct. Same day. Same day. Okay, now you, you brought some photos. I brought what some are we photos. looking at? These are some people that we've helped with the procedure. Um, Susan is a, is a really unique woman. She has just such a, a, a pretty uh, revealing smile. And 
She hadn't been smiling. She looks like a happy. She person. was afraid to smile. She had trained herself not to smile. So uh, we talked. We went over the options. She didn't want to be in a full denture, right? And in one visit, we were able to take her from that picture you just saw to this. And her, her smile nice. is contagious. The amount of confidence that she has when we talk and speak, it, it's just worlds different than when I first met her. And, um, you know, uh, people just don't know what they're a candidate for. So, uh, again, by, by coming in and talking, we, we kind of got and figured out what, what she really wanted. And as you can see from her smile, the, the results, you know, um, tell a thousand worlds. And, and you're big on sedation. So yes. these people comfortably, they go in, they don't feel, there's no pain during the procedure. There's no pain during the procedure. What about um, pain afterwards? Because it seems very painful. Yeah, and, and all this stuff, again, when you don't know, you don't understand. But these people, a lot of the times, have worn dentures. So they had something kind of pushing on their gum tissue that was always causing them some problems. And the beautiful thing about same day teeth or, or all on four is that the implants support the teeth. There's no more pressure on your gum tissue. Okay. So the day they walk out of there, they're chewing on their teeth, right? And the bones support the bite. So, um, I mean, some people have more pain than others, but are there some people that say this didn't hurt at all? As a rule, this procedure has an extremely low um, post-operative uh, discomfort um, okay. for patients. Just because, again, the teeth are, are supported um, by the bone. So, Randy, back up a second. Put those right. photos back next to each other. I want you to okay. see something here. Don't forget, she came in because she was breaking teeth, she was missing more teeth, and she wanted just teeth in her mouth. Look at, look at the smile, though. She even looks if, younger, by the way. Even if you call that a, a, an added benefit, the smile to me makes the difference here because, I mean, I'd have to say she looks at least 10 years younger. I think everybody would agree with that. Yep. Do they say that? I mean, do they smile more or do they yes. give you their eating stories? To what me, do they do? You, you all really that? see it in their eyes. People approach you with more confidence. The smile is a lot easier to get out of them. You don't have to crack a joke. They look at you and they're just <laughs> excited that okay. they were able to have this done. So it's exciting for us. It, it provides us with a lot of satisfaction. Is it frustrating for some people? Like they say, I should have done this years ago, or why didn't anybody else tell me about this? A lot of is these that, people. Does that happen? A lot of these people have been like this for a really long time. And again, they just don't know. Again, someone told them they couldn't have this done. They weren't a candidate. What he says he can, can do, he can't do. And again, we have the results. We have the, the, the data. Um, it just works. You've been on my show before. I've been here before. You've had people see you on the program. And do they still come in skeptical, like not believing it's possible? Most people don't know how to apply the things we talk about here to their particular situation. Okay. So the reason that we offer the free consultation, the reason we're willing to sit down with people and just talk about their particular Doesn't situation. Doesn't everybody offer a free consultation? I don't think so. I think a lot of the people want to charge you for the x-rays. They want to charge you for the CT scans. Well, that's good. Right? Good. And, and Dr. Molson and I feel that just by giving a little right? Spending the time diagnosing the condition um, goes a long ways in kind of uh, developing a, a relationship with the patient. And really, they have to trust me. They have to believe in the plan. If they don't believe in the plan, then I don't want to help them because, um, you know, we're doing this to, to change lives. And Good. Um, everybody has to be on board with the plan. Randy, we got another patient here. Again, I could go on for hours with, with folks like this. Uh, this, this woman, um, was missing a couple teeth in the front and a lot of teeth in the back. She'd had lots of issues. So um, the scenario was you, you could do a more traditional method, which would take maybe one or two years, put the implants in, have to do some isolated bone grafting and some things like that. But because we were able to treat her with the all-in-four concept. All-in-four meaning four implants and a whole set of teeth. The same day. Like a full arch of teeth. The same okay. day. So we were able to sedate her, take out any of the bad teeth, uh, replace those with the, uh, the false anchors, the implants. And again, that day, you can see the results. This is, this is the day of surgery. This isn't a post-op, you know, months later. It's very nice. This is that day. So you can imagine, Randy, put this in perspective. They come to see me looking like this. They just don't know what we can do to help them. And They're probably again, prejudged as well. Absolutely. You know, they've stopped smiling. They've stopped going out to dinner. They don't know uh, where they can go to have this problem solved. And again, this is, this is day one. This is not, you know, some... So she would have had to have dentures. Absolutely. That was the next step. She was, she was going to a full denture. Because nobody wants denture. Nobody wants a denture. And doesn't mean it doesn't work for some people. And that sometimes we have to kind of, um, you know, bridge the gap. We have lots of folks that we've treated one jaw. We've had them in a denture in the other jaw, okay. waiting for things to develop. And we're able to treat them. They've got a full mouth of fixed teeth. So okay. I've got another... Uh, Another wonderful You like this stuff, you. by the way. This I'm picking up fun. on it. It's like you're showing me baby pictures here. Again, like we've talked about this before, you know, uh, doing a filling isn't changing someone's life. Uh, almost every one of these patients here, 
um, you know, there's, there's waterfalls, there's tears when they get the mirror at the end of the surgery and they just can't believe it could be done. So it's a unique service. And again, the results are, are speaking for them, themselves. That's a young um, woman right here. This is a, a relatively young woman who had had lots of dental work done. She'd lost confidence in dentists. She just had some stuff um, fixed a couple years ago. And as you can see, her, her smile has really broken down. So, so Randy, the, the next step was dentures. And she'd for already her. been told she had a plan to have the teeth removed and go into full dentures. And she wasn't proceeding with that because she, she couldn't physically get herself to that office to have it done. She was so afraid. So we talked, went through options. And again, the results here, uh, I think, are probably wow. the most transformational that I've had in my entire career. Uh, the beam that she had on her face when she came to the office for the post-operative visits was just contagious. All the girls in the office, they were crying <laughs> when they saw her. They, they okay. loved it. So, so she's, she's incredible. Um, I've got one more gentleman here. Um, uh, again, what's a, going on a, here? A long-term denture wear. Uh, he'd had upper and lower dentures. He'd been told that he didn't have the foundation to Those have. Teeth look pretty good. The, the teeth didn't look bad. They were, they were in the right position, but Randy, he couldn't chew. This okay. is what this guy cares about. Um, he didn't mind, you know, having uh, a smile that might not be perfect. But his wife and him told me they they couldn't go to dinner anywhere anymore. And he just couldn't tolerate being anywhere with his teeth in his mouth. So, so what good are they to him if he's wearing them in his pocket? Okay. Okay. Good point. So in, in one visit, okay, we were able to fixate the upper and lower teeth to the jaw bones, okay, in a very healthy, functional, long-lasting way. The byproduct, of course, is a nicer smile. But again, <laughs> he was out to dinner the next night. All right. So, um, so it's a, and they look like natural teeth. So there's a cosmetic component to this. That's always the goal to make them look very natural. There's some people that want me to make them really, really white, and I'm okay with that if they're okay with that. He looks like he might be a big guy. Okay, so he could he eat? Let's say when everything's healed up, yep. he could bite into a, a steak or whatever. There, or he has to be careful a little bit. There's nothing that's off limits during the transitional period when they've had the fixed teeth before I'm able to put the permanent teeth on. I just ask that they can eat anything that can turn a fork sideways and chew. And as you and I both know But when that, it's all done, could they eat a they, carrot? They can eat anything. They can chew ice. Really? Yep. These teeth are strong. They can chew ice. These teeth are strong. I don't recommend it, but I know they do it. <laughs> okay. I know they do it. So. Okay, great. Well, look, we are out of time. Okay. I want to thank you for coming in. And all of these patients, you say all of them are sedated. Everybody for this particular procedure, we like to sedate. I want people comfortable. I want it to do it one time, have it be a good experience and um, again, have them smiling at the end of the procedure. So I want to thank you for coming to the show. Thanks Always a me, pleasure. Randy. It's my pleasure. Thanks for coming back. Thanks. You've been watching the Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. For now, I wish you good health. Thanks for watching the Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news with your host, Randy Alvarez, the authority on health issues.